एपिसोड वन चैप्टर वन टू थ्री और के आई एम हियर विद माय फर्स्ट फ्रेंड यू लुक लाइक बेकन ही हैज नो फैमिली हेनरी स्मिथ फादर टोल्ड हिम दैट इफ यू बिल्ड योर हाउस फार अवे नॉट फ्रॉम ट्रबल देन ट्रबल विल नेवर फाइंड यू सो दैट्स मी लीड That's me. Leave far away from trouble. Are you trying to know who God who is trouble? My friend, all my Mexican little guys, okay? You know, five foot four, curly hair, big pee pee. Yes, yes. <laughs> never <laughs> date. <laughs> never date in Asia, okay? Okay. I know for personal experience, not fun. Not fun. <laughs> Do not be deceived by the slant eyes. Okay, back to trouble. <laughs> so that's me. Live for the people have lived for exactly three hundred years. <laughs> Away from trouble. <laughs> About as old as my grandma. In Blackberry, by the sea, where the currents of the Atlantic gave in the last summer month to the coast of Massachusetts. Okay. Before they heard of the cold clear and short of Maine, from the casement windows of his bedroom. Henry could look out on the feathery waves on the sunny days, and he could see that all his life that there had been only sunny days. He could open the lintel glass doors and walk out onto the stone balcony, and the water would glitter all the way <laughs> to the horizon. I remember the horizon. I was in Africa. <laughs> I saw a big ball. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, neck pain. Oh, okay, okay. She has me blocked in his basement. I cannot leave. Send help, please. Okay, yeah. next page. Yes. Oh, uh, the first taste he can remember was salt water. Ugh. The first Christmas gift that he can remember was a kayak, which he had taken into the water that very morning. So calm had the sea been because trouble was so far away. Just like my ex-girlfriend, she moved away after I raped her entire family. And <laughs> south we got in 1678 around the time my mom was born <laughs> with the coinage of a 17th century merchant ancestor stood on stone ledges braced against the storm and squalls of hurricanes and blizzards that blew out of the northeast its beams were still as straight as the day as they had been hewn and henry could run across the side of the great old said word beneath the flooring Next page. That was the first page. Of course, my friend. Oh my God! The judge ran out in sleep. Okay, sorry. Uh. And feel the sharp edges left by the ancient mouse stones. The house has been changed and added to and changed again. For a second, shut up, <laughs> fat bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I slap you again. No. Good job. I slap you again. Motherfucking puppy. Yeah, who what? No boy. <laughs> The house eight fireplaces were each big enough to stand in. Just like oh, what the fuck! The house's eight fireplaces were each big enough to stand in, and one had a hidey hole that huddled beneath the earth, and was guarded by a secret panel on the wood closet. Henry and his brother Franklin, the dude from GTA, and his sister Louisiana, were hiding it during the winter. Because it was up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I want to fucking stick my fingers into your butthole, turn it around, and fucking twist it. Punja, I would. Punja. <laughs> I don't have time for this punja. I'm working. Okay, okay, okay. Keep up. The the floors of his house were white pine downstairs, wider oak upstairs, quarried stone in the kitchen, and and rooms behind it. An Italian orchard tied in the parlors. The north parlor had lots of Asian furniture, just like my girlfriend, my my ex girlfriend. No, we don't talk about it. From Hong Kong, Singapore, above nineteenth century streamers like Tifu. The south parlor showed the French impressionist collection, including Cubango and smaller Renault. The down 
stare at Harlem with an army of revolutionary war free not from the British. They were like, oh, what are you going to do? Shoot your pantalons? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> okay. The library had two shelves of medieval prayer books. Praise the Lord and Jesus. I would like to take a second to talk about our Lord and Savior. That is all. Henry and his father would uh, often sometimes read them for the use of this abbey. For the use of this monastery and the use of this court. And then they would look out toward the gold and red sunset in this house where we stand into the apocalypse. Not true. Henry Potter would say irrelevantly. Henry believed him. <coughs> Fuck my prostate exam. Uh, page three. Shut up. <laughs> no one's walking down. Motherfucker. Now. It was a kind of town where no one lived there, like a ghost town. Ooh, scary. Worked there, weekends under dark suits, commanded in sleek wooden cars down to downtown Boston. Henrik's father drove to the prestigious and well regarded accountancy firm where he was a partner. And in the shut, shut up, Punjab, you moan again, I will fucking hit you. Excuse me for one second. Back to our program. I hope you are all having a good day and I hope you all love your families just like I do. Okay, where were we? Henry family went to St. Anne's Episcopal Church where their family had owned <laughs> a few in 1618. And in the afternoon, they took a long walk beneath the broad maple of Townshend Park or drove up to New Hampshire to buy maple syrup. I love that shit fucking everywhere. Or if the water was warm, they climbed down to Salvage Cove, a long stretch of perfect white stand in a huge black boulders below their house. Yeah. Hold up. 